Hey folks, this is All Out The One here. Thanks for tuning in. As promised in my last video, uh, this is a quick look at my personal survival kit that I always take with me when I'm out in the woods bushcrafting, wild camping, etc. Just a bare minimal items just in case I mess up and uh, manage to hurt myself. So the main part of this kit is sealed in one of these leak proof airtight bags um, very nice lightweight option to keep all your medical essentials clean and tidy although not sterile this is a clean bandage which obviously can be used to uh, help stop bleeding on any cuts that I may inflict on myself accidentally um, whilst using various tools out in the woods uh, keep the pressure on also can be used as a sling to help support a limb if damaged uh, So useful bit of kit ultimately always good to have a bit of extra tinder with you Next up we have another this time sealed bandage So uh, perhaps once you've cleaned yourself up and you're putting the final dressing on you can use it for that purpose Yeah, I got a bit lightheaded um, with loss of blood and uh, a sweet always helps me get my sugar levels back up instantly and uh, brings me back into the conscious realm. I'm not saying I faint, but uh, yeah, I do get a bit woozy, especially if it's spurting out of me, as, <laughs> as has been the case on a couple of occasions. So uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, medicine for you there. Next up. In here, we've got a scalpel. Hopefully, I'll never have to use that in anger. Um, also, behind that, a couple of a few steri strips for uh, closing any slightly larger wounds up. Uh, alongside that, I've got a diarrhea tablet. Not nice getting squits in the wood or anywhere um, when you come to think of it. And alongside that, a nice uh, strong painkiller, enough so I can get through the pain and get back to my vehicle or indeed get myself rescued next up a couple of plasters always handy for small cuts etc keep them clean and uh, allows you to keep working in the dirt without worrying about getting it infected obviously any cuts you'll want to clean up before you uh, before you dress them so for that purpose I've got some purified uh, surgical spirit here uh, you can just pour it over a wound this is probably enough to treat one I've got another one in there somewhere which I'll pull out in a minute um, yeah last kind of ditch water treatment uh, quite a few tablets in there good for at least two or three days worth of water um, yeah just keep it in here because it's a sealed bag and it's uh, just a handy place to keep them also you can use your sterilized water to uh, obviously wash out wounds eyes etc got some large neoprene or neopore should I say pads um, these are good just because uh, they don't stick to the wound so it's easy to uh, change dressings etc again handy to have just in case you've got any critters in your ear or anything like that <laughs> god forbid that's a nasty thing to happen um, but yeah that could also be useful cotton pad again for cleaning wounds another non-woven swab here and same again, we've got another melanin wound dressing and the other one fell out over here. Again this is the uh, surgical spirit, perfect for cleaning out wounds. Last ditch scenarios, the uh, bag that it comes in can also be used to uh, transport water. And finally 
this sits in the top of any rucksack I'm going out in one Israeli bandage these are uh, really well thought out and practical bits of emergency kit gives you all the instructions on the outside how to use hermetically sealed in a double foil layer this one has expired but uh, as it's very still tight uh, hasn't feel like any air's got in there this will this will last for years yet I'd imagine but basically it's a wound dressing which contains a coagulant so uh, in the short term stops you bleeding uh, enough so to get you to um, a place where you can get proper medical treatment very last ditch kind of scenario um, I've got this basically because I use axes out in the woods and uh, yeah a good uh, accidental swing with an axe could uh, could be nasty for sure so um, that's why I carry this so that's my ultralight medical kit for uh, one person um, I have had to use it a couple of times before here and there uh, with cuts etc but nothing serious thank god and um, hopefully that will remain the case as I said in the previous video I will be taking you all out on my next trip with me uh, on my ultralight scouting mission uh, hopefully it should be fun so this has been another All Outdoor One video please go and check out my site alphabushcraft.co.uk and um, really appreciate all your help and support this is All Outdoor One signing out for now thank you for watching take care